A thief on the loose in northern Kentucky is targeting the most sacred spot for many, local churches. Nine on your side, reporter Bryce Hanslinger is live in Bellevue, where the burglar has struck twice, Bryce. That's right, Clyde. The father here at Sacred Heart Church says whoever's stealing from the church is obviously very desperate, but that doesn't make replacing the valuables any easier. Parishioners pray inside Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Bellevue. A place meant for sanctity is being violated. I feel sorry anytime um, somebody would um, really, in a sense, deface the house of God. That makes me sad, uh, and I think it makes the people sad. Father Damien Hill says whoever stole from the church must be desperate. We had six candlesticks here and two of them were missing. This is one of the three 100-year-old brass candlesticks still remaining at the church after five were stolen in two different burglaries. It's not only the piece's value that makes the theft difficult on the church, it's the fact that the candlesticks are irreplaceable. The candlesticks are at least 100 years old and have been used as part of the worship of God in this house since 1892 when the church was built. It's true they're just material objects, but since they pertain to the worship of God, they have a special significance. St. Henry Catholic Church in Ellesmere has also been hit. Church officials say they've had three incidents where bronze candlesticks were taken. They say police are checking pawn shops and metal dealers, but so far they've come up empty. And it's hard to put an exact monetary value on those stolen candlesticks, but I'm told that brand new candlesticks cost more than $2,000, making those antiques even more valuable. Bryce Onslinger, not on your side, live in Bellevue.